Again, another good thing loosening does on this cabbage, um, like around here, you see, it facilitates proper root development and it also helps these plants to, the roots will be able to penetrate the soil and absorb nutrients in a simple way. As the soil have been loosened, my good advice to my fellow farmers, one thing you have to know is when you are weeding or you are loosening the soil, you need to protect your, don't, don't do this, don't break the, 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 the middle tip of the cabbage, like this one here, because you will cause it to start branching. The term is called tailoring, which will cause the plant to start developing many branches, which will utilize more nutrients and make the plant unhealthy. So, comparing the yield potential of the cabbage in terms of uh, the soil factor that support plant growth. When you look at here, the yield potential is high eh? because the, so the, the plant is receiving adequate nutrients. Uh, adequate nutrients, there is adequate moisture in the soil, the plant is being managed very well, but to some extent our control plan is lagging behind in terms of the yields. I'm doing an experiment to determine deficiency rates in cabbage production. So, as you can see, now, this is what we have done here. Uh, when you look at this cabbage plant, this one, the yield potential is high. Eh? Mm. It's because they are not lacking any nutrients completely. When you look at this cabbage plant here, now this one here, what we did, we remove all the good fertile soil. We remove the fertile soil from the planting holes and then we replace with the maram soil, soil that we anticipate not to be fertile. And thereafter, we, we transplanted the seedling here without adding any manure or fertilizer. So when you compare, if you compare the yield potential of this one and this one which has been added to organic manure and uh, well managed so like this one we decided to do it in the middle of the of the demonstration in order for us to identify how the real real effects of the plan it has been watered well it has been managed sprayed and every agronomic practices is already behind in terms of growth but when you look at the other one, the same management, the same agronomic practices being carried on, but the yield potential is high. So this one is an indication to you as a farmer that the deficiency can come in when you are not, when your soil is lacking some of the basic nutrients which are good for the plant growth. So you have to do something. This one is communicating to a farmer to add manure to support the plant growth.
We are gaining a lot of knowledge and skills. But I'm only trying. I'm young to twirl. Man, I know. Kita kabe juani tia ti mabaya kere. This school wakana no ponyo wa ye. No ponyo jamu about kabe yetu no pan ni a ye tu turi ye eto. Can't imagine like here. We have like this is dry season. You find at night, eh? The free moving goats tend to pass around and then they, they destroy the cabbage of season farming challenges like here you can see right now people have released the animals are moving freely goats sheep so all of a sudden you just come and find goats has already eaten the cabbage now take a look eh? check on this now look here all eh? with the goats they are very funny they cannot eat they don't eat this outer cover hmm? the outer leaves of cabbage they look at the soft heads and then they you find they are eating it up so which is a very big loss to the farmers and uh, with this kind of farming you have to make sure that at least you can uh, give some minimal fencing to prevent the moving animals from destroying your crop take a look almost all almost all the cabbages have been destroyed and if you take this kind of cabbage to the market, nobody can buy it. Some of the problems that farmers faced in Uganda today it is safety. Like this morning when I woke up early in the morning to come and check on my demo farm, I got that a, a, someone has taken the big head of my cabbage, which is a very big loss in the in the farm. So one, if you're planting, if you know you have a farm garden, make sure you be very careful. Make sure every day in the morning carry out field scouting so that it can make you know that something is miss, missing in your garden. Like if you look at this cabbage it is a very big loss this was so big that if you're selling in the market these days it would be 2500 but now as i talk it is off so this is a very big problem not only that also rain but if i think i also taken this it's a very big loss i'm advising you as in your if your crop is now getting ready make sure you provide enough security if not you can employ someone to look after your farm like right now as I talk, this one has been taken. You never know the next day someone may come and pick all of it. So if you rest at home there, make sure that your garden is provided enough security. Like this one is so big again. If they take a, if they take it and they take another one, it will be a very big, big, big loss. So make sure you provide enough security for your crops.